Hello world, I'm Gokarp. Welcome back to Neo Scavenger the Michigan Beast where we are... Well, I just looked at the map and we're basically just being heading north from the Geik's cryo facility. Well, I was supposed to be heading north... West? This is west, right? Yeah, northwest. So, uh, let's start heading that way now because we got a good amount of stuff. We gotta head to a forest at some point. Well, there's some forest. So, we'll just go to a forest uh, tile. Get some wood. Uh, we should probably grab some wood with us, actually, so that we can make fire anytime we want. Let's make a fire, a uh, medium campfire lit. Yes, please. And then we are gonna be cooking all of our water. Uh, where is the. Well, it's not here, it's there. And we're also gonna be cooking some dirty rags. First, I think, because we got a lot of wounds at this point, so we uh, should probably clean up as much of the rags as we can. Okay, that's. Let's remove all the dirty rags and use the clean rags on our cuts and bruises. <laughs> that's all of them. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll clean up some more. Okay, we should know a recipe to. Is it, is it misc? Uh, so well, clean rags boiled, yes. Let's do as many clean rags boiled. Oh, we don't have any moves left. Right, well, let's wait for next turn. And boil some more rags. So I don't think we have any more dirty rags. No, we don't have any more dirty rags, so... Uh, let's boil some water. Okay, is all of our water sterilized now? Oh, there's only three water left, well... We'll drink this, since we're a little bit thirsty, we'll grab that, and we'll grab the clean rags. And I took the wood, uh, yeah, okay, let's take, make sure we get five of that. Okay, let's just keep heading this way. Hey, there's some, oh, places where we can, oh, I still had a move left. Did not need to waste that, but well, again, it doesn't really matter that much. A single move isn't that important. Uh, stuck in an opening. Well, I don't care if we, like, alerted some creatures, because we're just gonna kill them! Oh, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, anything in these? No, but, uh, we want these to be here, because we can't, uh, you know, because there's holes in the shopping cart, we can't have everything in here. Some stuff just refuses to go in here, but we can put it in these sacks. Sacks. Boxes! Uh... Shoes. What is uh, my suit? Oh, very bad. Let's see that. Uh, let's start collecting some foil as well. It's always good to have foil in case you go to the end game because you're gonna need a foil suit for the end game. Now twenty-one percent, eighty-four percent. That was our shoe left here. Right. Uh, do we have these things? I don't know. Let's take some of those at least. Okay, and uh, let's use the road map. Okay, Detroit. I mean, we already knew where it was, because it's over here. Oh, man. Can I try to see where we are? Okay, so there... Ooh, Melonhead! Time for you to die, Melonhead! Okay, oh, we could blindly attack, so let's do that, and then we'll just attack it. Yeah, it's stunned, vulnerable, and bleeding, so we can just kill it. Uh, hey, some water. Grab that. Thank you. Ooh, and here's a spot where we can. Ooh, what? Ooh, ooh. That's actually uh, the. I, I said in the previous episode that there is a place here. Uh, that is the place. Let's go check out the place. Because I like this is one of those places where I haven't been to that often in this game. Like I don't remember what's there. I, I think there's like a bunch of melon heads that then uh, gr crowd you, like your basic uh, like like a zombie attack scenario situation where there's like tons and tons of them and you can't really do anything but run. But we are athletic, so we should be able to run away from them if that's the case. Like cause I don't I don't really remember that well what's what happens there. Well, hey, here we got another hunting rifle. That is actually a rifle this time. Uh, what's the situation here? Okay, that's a better pan than what we got. Uh, we will grab the bullets. Shells! Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, oh, man, I left those... the one set of shells behind in that one hunting rifle, or 
Shotgun. Uh, oh, we can drink this. Right on, and let's grab these. Okay, one more, and I'm happy with the amount of bottles we have. Okay, I don't think we need anything else here. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, scavenge here first. And oh, another roof collapse. That's unfortunate. Ooh, man, <laughs> we're not in a very good shape. Okay, get some of that there. Grab that spear again, and okay, no whiskey. Got some corn cola. We'll drink that. Yeah. Okay. We'll go. We'll we'll check out these. This spot and that spot, and then we'll go to the fairgrounds. Uh, what did it say? We're it's in minor pain, and some activities are affected. Ooh, our pain is going down. Damn. Uh, these are painkillers. Let's grab a painkiller. Yeah. Uh, let's grab one of these just in case they are antibiotics. I'm not sure. Cause I think there might be a thing that even if you don't know that they're antibiotics and you eat antibiotics, you still get the condition here, so you know that they are antibiotics. So, I don't remember, it's been a while, it's been a while. Oh, another roof collapse. Damn. Okay, let's just fix ourselves up. Get that spear back. I mean, yeah, I know there, like, there's a safety meter here, so that I could, like, try to keep it maxed. Like, if I just used the light here, the safety would be much stronger than when I use uh, these two things as well, but loot is more important! Uh, wait, I stunned and unable to... Whoa, where did that come from? Huh, I didn't even realize we had a thing like that. Not sure where you put those! Oh, uh, that's... Uh, did you put them, like, somewhere here? Where did they go? Oh, you put them here, okay. The recipes there, uh... Yeah, I'll take some dirty rags because we're out of clean rags at this point. Mm, a sled with a strap. I think the shopping cart is better. Okay, we don't need any of this, so yeah, let's go check out... Oh! Melonhead! Oh crap. Well, I can't see it anymore, so I'll just uh, scout here first. Ooh, more ammunition. Another pot. Wonder if we need that. Probably not. Oh, some bullets. Are you the same type of bullets as those? I think you were. But uh, five is the stack limit on those. 54%, 78 <coughs> Excuse me, 78%. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe we want to sleep. Okay, let's see if we can find this melon head. Let's just blind attack. Oh! Damn! D -d tackled us. Let's get up. Okay, it's just running. No, 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 no. We're. Oh! Damn it. Okay, let's ditch the vehicle. Charge! And melee attack! And melee attack! And we're gonna melee attack. Yeah, it's, it's gonna die. Okay, whoa. Couple of dead ones here. Uh, we'll take the smartphone. Do we need anything else? 4.6. Is that the shoe we. Nine! Ooh, that's an almost perfect shape shoe. Perfect. Yeah, it's shape, right? It's in perfect shape. What does that mean that it's in perfect condition? Because shape means like the shape you have. Why is it the same word used for those both things? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's grab our vehicle. And uh, yeah, let's go check out if this forest here has a good spot for us to sleep. Okay, this looks like a rather good spot to sleep. Uh, We'll just put the traps here, and then we'll sleep. Yeah. 
Okay, painkillers. Oh, we woke up. Oh, it's <laughs> it's not very late at all. Well, let's just keep on sleeping. Why are you having? Oh, wait. You know what? I think these are uh, sleeping pills. Yeah. So we'll have some of those. Okay, we're thirsty. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh. Well, whatever it is, it didn't. Whatever it is, it got scared about of us, I think, because it dropped its things here. Huh. Well, we're thirsty. Uh, right, let's... Oh, we're gonna wait for next turn. Yep, clean racks have fallen apart, that's not surprising. We will make ourselves a fire again. Mm, where is the fire? Wait. Medium campfire. Oh, there it is. And let's check out this. So, okay, that's actually healed. That's actually healed. Good. Uh, how much water do I have? Three, four, five. Okay, I think I'd rather just uh, actually make all of that into water. But why are you trying to sterilize the sterilized water again? Oh, did I know that one of that water, some of that water was sterilized? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Let's drink all of that, and uh, this one's sterilized as well. Yes, so we'll drink that too. Uh, now let's just rest and heal until it gets a bit lighter. Oh, melon head! Kill it! Oh, there's two melon heads. Ah, uh, well this one's stunned, so let's hit the leader then. Oh no, let's create an obstacle for the leader. Uh, it's vulnerable, this one's bleeding and blind. Okay, this is vulnerable and fallen. Let's just kick it! Okay, it's dead. Oh, you're fallen as well. We'll kick you too. Or maybe the other one just ran away. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna kick you to death. Oh, no, this is now the Melonhead leader. It wasn't the Melonhead leader a while ago. What's going on? Okay. Melonhead stole a lot of stuff. Ooh, flashlight! Oh, we can even turn it on. Nice. Okay, we're gonna grab the flashlight for sure. Oh, I left the I left the traps behind. Well, let's go. go. No, they're here. They're here. This is the spot where we are. We didn't leave anything behind. Put that there. Hunt the melon head. At least the vehicle. Charge. Come on, come on. Oh, wait. Why did the charge move? So we get something new here. Come on, come on. Catch it. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. Kill it. Now we're gonna kill it. Oh! Dodged! Okay, it's just trying to run away. Uh, we'll just do a regular melee attack. Did we hit? Oh, it tripped. But we did hit it. Good. Okay. Charge a bit closer and kick it! And stab it! Stab it some more! Now it's dead. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Grab this back. Yeah, ooh, we could sleep again. Hmm. Eh, yeah, why not? If we can sleep for a little bit longer, let's sleep for a little bit longer. Okay, now we're good. Now, let's head to the fairgrounds. Oh, don't have enough movements. Well, the area around Allegan County Fair is pretty unassuming. One sleepy neighborhoods with detached homes make up the bulk of the area, with streets lined by aging trees. Not much different than any other place you walked lately. But as you run Delano Street and turn a park drive, things start to feel off. One house has some white lace curtains that won't stop moving. Another features a gaping hole in the second story exterior wall, as if the wall was sucked in by a powerful force. A third has some sort of ma managerie of dior or diorama of dolls in the front yard, in varying states of decay. And at the end of the street, a glaring 10-foot rooster statue stands on the leftmost of a series of brick booths that cross what must be the fairgrounds entrance. 
Roosters, you decide, are creepier when they're twice your size and have an army of this figure doll as backup. Okay, what can we do? Leave Elegant Fairgrounds or enter Elegant Fairgrounds. Of course, you're not gonna enter the fairgrounds. Bah! That rooster doesn't scare you. In you go. Behind the rooster's back, though. You know, just in case. Inside, there are heaps of refuse under sagging canopies. It looks like some sort of antique fair or flea market was interrupted here. Further into the fairgrounds, you spot a large permanent hall. Sliding hangar doors frame a yawning black entrance, or which hangs a sign, Marketplace Exhibitors Building. No telling when that Russo will make his move, so we probably shouldn't tarry here long. Okay, so we can check out the hall, we can leave the fairgrounds, or we can check out the tents. Uh, the hall is inside, so it feels like there's going to be darkness there, and that's going to be a little more dangerous, so let's check out the tents first. The tent market looks pretty run down. Weather and time have done their work over the years. Most everything looks faded, soil and waterlogged. But there is still useful material left here, which is odd. Looters are nothing if not thorough, and you know there's no way some of this would be left behind for long. Okay, nobody's gonna hurry to carry off this fast food clown head or anything, but why hasn't this place been picked clean? Resolving to stay vigilant, you start looking through the tents. Take the clown head! Yes, of course we're gonna take the clown head! Well, I'm gonna take the clown head! Okay, and then we can salvage some tarpaulin from the tents. Sure, why not? If nobody else is going to. And then we'll check out the hall. The exhibitor's hall looks about as foreboding as it does promising. The same roof that has protected the building's contents all these years also blocks any light from getting in. You might as well be entering a cave. Passing through the doorway, your nose is assailed by the stench of stale perspiration, urine and rotting teeth. The air feels stagnant. Thick. The sound of the outdoors become muffled, punctuated by the ticking and popping of the metal structure. You can see some of the tables and booths in the ambient line from the doorway, but shadows pull further back towards the walls. Okay, examine a large cardboard box, examine a booth labeled genuine artifacts, examine further in the shadows, examine a pile of blankets and racks, shine a light to see better. Let's shine a light to see better! Holding the torch above your head, you're strained to see into the recesses of the hall. Most of the hall is filled with folding tables and booths, signage advertises vendors and craftspeople from a bygone era, and most of their wares appear to be scattered about though not taken. An inordinate number of tables seems to be covered or surrounded in blankets though, and that's when you notice it. One of the blankets moves. A frustrated grunt is uttered from one of the hall's corners, and it's immediately followed by a pitched moan. All around you come the sounds of shuffling and items falling off tables, barely audible over a rising chorus of moans and shrill screams. It appears this is some sort of nest of waking, cranky melon heads, and you're in the middle of it. And unfortunately, some of the melons have already closed you in a blocking the doorway through which you came. Okay, so we can try to light some blankets on fire. We can grab something heavy and clear a path. We can sprint for the exit. We can climb towards the rafters. Or we can grab something heavy and clear a path. What if we use both? Okay, melee and strong doesn't seem to be doing anything special here. And uh, yeah, if we just put everything, it doesn't really do much. Hmm. Now, I, I, I think I remember that with Athletic we can actually get away from here without dying. But I don't think if I've ever used Strong or Melee here. And once again, I haven't been to this particular place at that many times when I've played this game. Because usually I just start heading towards the DMC from the get-go. So going this way isn't that... Uh, you know, I don't do that that often. So... Let's... You know what, let's use Athletic. No, no, no. I know that Athletic works, so let's use Melee. The bastards might have moved in to block your exit, but that doesn't mean you can unmove them. Grabbing a wooden drawer from a nearby furniture stall, you rush forward, using it to shield bash your way through. Any of those little buggers eager enough to try you gets a wood sandwich and a headache for their trouble. When you reach the door, three of the melee slide in your wake, cerebral fluid spurting amidst the brace of agony. The rest of the throng is unfazed, though, and your drawer skills, formidable as they are, won't won't even these odds. Time to go. Okay, so... Right, so we can just get out of there like that. But we got the most important thing, of course, the fast food clown head! <laughs> and now we have a clown head. Okay, I'm gonna stay here for a turn to see if it, like, spawns a bunch of melon heads. Sometimes these things do that. Okay, didn't. So let's see if we... Like, can we go back there? You're back at the Elegant Fairgrounds, and Rocky Rooster is still doing his thing. Okay, re-enter Elegant Fairgrounds. 
Unfortunately, things are pretty stirred up from your last visit. Melon hit activity is at an all-time high, and it's best you steer clear for now. Okay, so we can't really do anything there. <laughs> oh, the clown head's so funny. Okay, well, uh, that seems fun. Uh, there was something there we could loot, so let's go see if there's any lootable things over here. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could take on a bunch of melon heads. Like, a huge bunch of melon heads. If we just uh, lure them closer to us one by one. Okay, we're gonna take the whiskey for sure. Uh, water, yes please. And that is... Uh, is that water? It's sterilized. Okay, let's drink it immediately then. Okay, come on, go away. And uh, we'll take this empty bottle. Oh, did it go here? It went here. Oh, I have a bottle over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't need... Let's... I only want eight bottles. Is this water sterilized? It is. And we're still hung. Thirsty. So let's drink that. And... Okay, oh, some recipes. Grab those. Uh... There's my recipe stack. stack. Right. Oh, there's something. Oh, and there's something lootable. Oh, a lot of shacks in the forest here. Hey, a tablet. Hmm. We might want to take that. I mean, we got the card. We're gonna take pretty much everything that has any sort of value. Uh, let's use the one that has less. Oh, another higher poopy. Okay, grab that. Grab that. Grab another lighter. Huh, the lighter can be here. Interesting. I thought that would be too small. Ah, that's got some value, so we'll grab that as well. Uh, what's the value here? Four bucks. Twelve bucks might be enough value to grab. Oh, there's still oh right the stretch of forest. Well, uh, we'll just look at the stretch of forest as well, just so that it won't show the uh, that mark here. That looking glass. No, it's not a looking glass. Magnifying glass. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's just uh, head to the edge here. Let's try to do something weird. Let's try to uh, go to DMC by going all the way around the map. Let's see if we we can do that or if we'll die before that happens. It's very likely that we'll die. I mean, this game always... No, well, no, it doesn't always end with you dying. I was thinking it always ends with you dying, but no, it doesn't. Because, uh... There is uh, the... Uh, if you actually, like, beat the game, you don't die. I mean, not immediately. Like, the ending kind of makes it pretty clear that you're gonna die pretty soon, but... You know, it's not, you're not actually left dying. Okay. Yeah, these melon heads are... Like, they're not really a problem to deal with. That was already in the mode where I can just grab it. Uh, 14 bucks. Yeah, sure. We'll take 14 bucks. Pants. Huh. I think because the idea was that we're going to be super violent. Now, I'm thinking if we went, go to the... What is it called? The area where the... Uh, it's not Martha's army. It's the other people. Uh, well, the, 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 the close-by shop or it's not that close-by, but the, the guys who live in the forest and who have a shop. If we go there and start being super violent, we probably can get to the shop. Maybe we should go and see what happens if we go there and be super violent, try to attack them and stuff like that. Ooh, water. Okay, and what else? Nothing else. Uh, well, can we fit one more Hayapupi in here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay, so you're in better condition than this one, so we'll grab that. Grab the water, and yeah, we're just gonna get hungry, so we're probably gonna end up eating the next melon head. Oh no, it just got too dark. Well, since we only have one move, I'm going to use it to uh, scavenge here. Oh, another higher poopy. Is it in better condition than any? Oh, that's only in 13%. Yeah, it is in better condition. All oh, right, we got some jelly bears here. Let's eat the. Oh right. I Press the wrong, wrong button. It's two is to use. Like you can see it from here. With 
one, it changes the mode in how you grab stuff. And with two, it just uses stuff. Oh, another flashlight. Oh, grab it. Sure. Oh, some recipes as well. I'll put them in the stack there. And check out the storage shed. Nothing useful there. Okay. Ah, melon head! Kill the melon head! Kill it! Damn it. Where did it go? There it is! Oh no! Well, uh, let's go to this city block here. And uh, we'll sleep here. Uh, why is there high poopy here? Did I go through here already? But it says that there's... Oh, I'm hungry and thirsty. Oh, that does not sound good. Well, let's see if we can find something to eat from here. Nope. But we need to find some water though. Uh, do we have something to eat? Like we have that one cracker. Let's eat that one cracker. Okay, let's make a fire here. Uh, recipes, tools, medium campfire lit. And is it food, sterilized water. Yes, that's not sterilized. Good, let's sterilize it. Okay, and I think all the water we have now is sterilized. Oh, wait, we got one of the some of these. These are edible. Okay, and then we'll drink. Okay, we got uh, quite a little amount of water. Oh, we get some corn cola here. Well, let's not that. Uh, let's not do anything with the corn cola right now because we want to get to sleeping pretty soon. Okay, and yeah, this this the better. Yeah, this one's got more shelter. Good. Uh, we'll take the traps here. And... Let's... Let's wait for one turn. Okay, nothing's happening. Then let's sleep. I was kind of worried that the melon head might just come here. Well, it's not a melon head. It's a bad mother. Uh, are we up? We are. Okay. Well, the bad mother is just gonna... Ooh, he's got a spear. That's okay. Okay, now we're gonna wait, because he's gonna have to come closer. And he's vulnerable, so we're gonna do a melee surge. Oh, did we miss? Oh, crap, we missed. Oh, this is bad, 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 this is bad. Please don't kill us, please don't kill us, please. Oh, he ran away. Well, he stole something from here. Well, we're gonna grab our traps. Back and you know what we <sighs> kind of feel like trying to shoot this guy. Okay, he's coming. We'll wait. Oh, he's fallen. Haha, -ha, we're gonna do a melee surge now. Missed again? Damn it. Okay, let's just uh, leg trip him. Ooh, he hit us. Al. Okay. So he's fallen. Recovering vulnerable. Let's just melee attack him. Oh, he's coughing blood, he's stunned. Yeah, let's just keep melee attacking. It shouldn't be like he if he's fallen and stunned, uh he's he's not gonna get back up. Oh he missed his Oh we crippled his arm so he dropped his spear. Yeah he's unconscious now so if we just get closer we can kick him to death. Which is doesn't sound like 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 that's a rather brutal thing to do. Hey, do you would you happen to have any food in here? You have some food, so let's eat this. Okay, our hunger is sated. Don't really want to start being an actual cannibal just yet, so don't want to eat the bad mother. But I mean, we will. <laughs> if, if it gets to that point where we're actually being hungry and all we got around us is bad mothers, well, yeah, then we're gonna just eat the bad mother. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're hungry, so now we're gonna eat anything. Hey, water! Let's Grab as much as we can. Okay, we got. Oh, there's only one water over there. Uh, let's empty out. Is it sterilized? It is sterilized. Okay, so we'll drink that and then we'll grab this. So now. Uh, you know what? Let's clean some rags here as well. Oh, why is there no rags there? Strange. Put some rags there. Come on, there. You. That's a clean rag. Okay, there. Uh, yeah, so we can make a fire. Just make a small one this time. Uh, 
have tools, small campfire lit, and then it's misc, uh, no, it's medic clean racks boiled, yep, yep, and I think we got one, oh, do we still have more of this? Yeah, how many dirty racks do we have here? Okay, two more, still two more. Oh, there must have been some racks here that I just didn't realize were here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good there. Uh, let's put this stuff in here. There's like seven there, and let's put these here. Okay. With some extras is fine. Uh, we can also okay remove that for a while. Remove those night vision goggles, so we can remove the dirty racks. We we'll put some clean rags in here instead. So night vision goggles and the clown head. Uh, oh, we could find something from here. Okay, we didn't find anything from here. Uh, I'd really like it to be light before I go into the forest, so... Let's go into the forest, let's scrub... Wait, do, why do I go to a forest? Because I have a lot of... I could have just boiled all the water th in the previous spot for some reason. I wasn't really thinking about that at all. Well, we'll do a campfire here. Let's do a medium this time. Just in case we don't have enough to get rid of all of our water. And I'm going to boil this water and then we're also going to put a cut in here and continue with this in the next episode. I'm Gokarp, uh, this is the Neo Scavenger, the Michigan Beast. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time!